Okay, so my name is Peter West. I'm just going to be playing with a Samsung 49 inch super ultra wide screen monitor. Uh, you open it from the, the bottom. So you want it upside down, it says please open here. So, you have the base, you have the massive stand, you have the back cable guard, and then you have a little thing that makes it look pretty when you connect it on. So the first thing you're going to do is connect the base in. This box holds um, a Visa mount adapter, so if you want to be able to mount this to an external, uh, like a wall mount or anything. You then have a whole bunch of cables. You have a power cable, USB cable, mini DVI, or no, mini display port to display port, and then display port to display port. So it's, the instructions are interesting. That is my daughter. She wants to be involved in this as well. So what they want you to do is, while it's still in the box, set it in there, and their screws are already right there. They're like already in the little mount. background noise while we uh, mount this up. How many screws are in the mount? Four. So then you pull this thing apart. It does kind of like pop, so don't worry about that too much. And you want to do these at the same time because otherwise, like what I had to do was like put them back in the hole a little bit and then kind of like adjust this and then you'll I'm gonna get it down in there. It's really not all that easy though. There we go. Now it's in there. So now, you just pick the monitor out of the box. And voila, 49 inch, super ultra wide. So what I'll do now is plug it in. On the first one I set up, the screen brightness was really weird. I had to go into the menu and I changed it to DisplayPort 1.1 instead of DisplayPoint 1.2. Um, I'm not sure if that was because the ASUS 1080 video card only supported 
or if the cable that they supply, I'm assuming it's the video card, only supports 1.1, but I will do some research into that later. There we go. I'm running um, two 1080 Ti's with um, an SLI. I have a five gigahertz overclocked 7700 and a six month old See, so this one's doing the same thing. The color is really weird. And so, if you put it in an HDMI cable, it works just fine. Um, or if I go into the menu, and I go over, oops, go to the menu, go down to, menu. Go to the menu, and then we have, we're gonna to go to system and display port version. If you, and then when I click on that and I go back to 1.1, which I'm assuming that's because of my video card, but I'll get a different cable too and check it. You'll see, boom, way brighter. I mean, like went from like super, super fuzzy to nice and bright. Um, if you put an HDMI cable in there, it works just fine. And, uh, and there it is. So if I launch Ghost Recon, that's just ridiculous. So I'm like, options, graphics, video, 380, apply, keep, graphics. So I'm on ultra right now. So I'm gonna run a quick benchmark. So this is pretty funny. I'm running on ultra settings right now. SLI 1080s, and I'm only getting 34 frames per second. That is, uh, I mean, I got 38, 34. I mean, it looks good though, but too, too low of a frame rate. So this is on very high. I'm 
getting a little better here, 60 frames per second. Um, pretty darn smooth, it looks really good. Um, once in this is running a super ultra wide, 32 by nine aspect ratio. And it's staying really, really close at 60 frames. 59.94, 60.4, 59. It looks incredible. Uh, absolutely incredible. I mean, that is just... That's nuts. Wow. And so, yeah, that's uh, the Samsung Super Ultra Wide um, monitor. I'm going to go ahead and install the drivers, play around with a few settings. I'll probably have a follow up video in a couple days. But uh, this is my first experience. We just, just got it a little bit ago. Uh, I got one, my wife got one. And uh, yeah, pretty neat.